An Indianapolis man accused of a brutal attack on his girlfriend faces a judge for the first time. The woman in the case claims that he beat her nearly to death. Jeremy Bullion heard the charges in court today and the change this story could bring outside the courtroom. Jeremy? And Marie and John, and that's why the victim in this case is talking about what happened. She wants to help other women help prevent them from becoming victims of abuse themselves. And a warning, some of the images and descriptions you're about to see and hear are disturbing. Ryan Cameron tried to hide his face as he was led away from court Wednesday, but Carly Hager wants the world to see her face and see what she says Cameron did to her. I feel like I'm not going to shut up about it either. I feel like I'm just going to keep preaching it so long as I live. She says after two years together as a couple, trouble started a few months ago. It culminated on Saturday when verbal abuse turned physical. She tried to bite my fingers off. I had bite marks up and down my back, on my butt, I bit my neck. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I was unconscious for all of this. Kind of makes me nauseated to think how many times I told him I loved him and thank you for taking care of my daughter. The progression from kindness to emotional abuse and finally physical violence is not uncommon, according to those who work with victims of domestic violence. You never want to cut someone off who you believe is experiencing violence. You never want to say, this is too much for me, I'm going to cut off ties with you. Uh, instead, to always be that lifeline for them, even though it can be exhausting. Exhausting because often victims like Carly stay in relationships even when a partner is trying to control their every move. And I just want people to know that that's not good, that's toxic. It's not a good relationship when you can't have freedom other than that person. It's gonna just keep getting worse. It will be a long road to recovery for Carly and a lengthy legal process for the man accused of abusing her. I hope he is there for a long while and that's where he needs to be. And Cameron could be sentenced up to 34 years in prison if he's convicted of all the felony charges he faces. Carly still has weeks of physical therapy ahead of her. She is a nurse's assistant by profession. Friends and family say she now wants to become a therapist and work with victims of domestic violence and prevent women from becoming victims in the first place. Well, certainly her speaking out, she's so brave. Absolutely. Yeah, yep. we wish her a good recovery. Thank you, Jeremy.